this one, best settings, boom. So as you guys can see, there is a box popping up and here you want to select everything. What is happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to a new video. It is Monday, it means a new week of videos and basically in this video I'm going to show you guys the best settings to render out um, in 50 FPS in After Effects. So 1080p, 50 frames per second and I'm going to run through all of the settings you need to know to render it out in the proper format. So I would say let's jump straight into the video. Okay guys, so as you guys can see as always I am on After Effects and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to render it out in how to render out your video in 50 the FPS. So what I'm going to do is when you always, you should always do that is select everything that you want to render it out. So I'm just going to select this entire clip as you guys can see this one, just, you know, the intro of this video. And I'm just going to select everything. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go to composition and you want to, you know, add this to a render queue. Boom. And as you guys can see, we have all different types of, you know, numbers, you know, at the bottom. And basically where you want to click on is this one, best settings. Boom. So as you guys can see, there is a box popping up and here you want to select everything. So we're going to start off with the quality. Quality, you want to put that on best, of course. Resolution is on full 920 by 1080. So the frame blending, you want to keep that on, you know, on this one at the top one, which says on project layers, a field render also on off motion blur, keep that also on off on for checked layers and then the time span you just want to click click on uh, work area only and as you guys can see at the top you just want, don't want to mess around with those any effects and you want to go straight to this one this is going to be your frame rate so as you all clearly can see you can you know it says it's set to 30 fps but you want to choose a different one so you want to click on this one so you can make a custom one and you want to fill in right there you want to click on 50 boom now that we have as you guys can see the size 920 by 1080 full HD 1080p also 50 FPS right here as you can see right there and basically guys don't you know write me in the comments like is that it yes guys that is how simple it is you just want to it's so freaking simple I just want to make those tutorials though but you want to put the quality I'm just gonna go and run through everything so you can do it with me um, so the quality on best the resolution on full the size is 920 by 1080 that depends on like how how like how you recorded it so I just recorded 920 by 1080 uh, the disk cache you want to keep that on read only and the frame blending also keep that on on for check layers the field render off the motion blur is just on for check layers and the time span is just work area only and i would say like the proxy use use no proxies effects current settings solo switches current settings uh, guide layers all off the color depth and then just current settings we would just use this frame rate and we want to put it to 50 and basically you want to click on ok and now you have set your actual your template and now it's time to render so what you want to do is you're going to output to boom then you can select where you want to save it i'm just going to call this after effects 50 fps and i'm going to click on save on my desktop and the only thing you need to do with the right is really simple you just want to click on render and as you guys can see the clip starts to render and it's going to be in 50 fps so that is how simple it is that is how you use you know the custom frame rate and that is basically how simple it is this is how you render out in 50 fps guys is that simple i know but i just want to keep those tutorials like short and brief because the only things i'm going to do in this video is show you guys how to set the current fps and I cannot help it that it's that simple so I'm just going to end off the video right here guys this is how you render out at 50 fps make sure to check out my channel in about two hours that's four make sure to check out my channel in about two hours from now for the video about how to render out in 60 fps so that's going to be really awesome hope you guys to see I hope to see you guys in two hours on my channel so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for the support and basically this is that's that's the video so that is basically you know how to render out the video in 50 fps guys so that's it for this video guys I want to thank you guys for watching that's all i have for you today thank you guys for liking and commenting on this video i hope to see you guys in two hours for the video of how to render out in 60 fps so make sure to stick around a lot of videos are coming soon and i would say thank you guys for this for the continue support and i will see you guys in about two hours in about uh four episodes it's going to be the 22nd of may and then i find something else when i started using video editing software it was like i have my own patreon page you can fucking troll channelpages.com kind of nice weather and i'm a tight with just alex helford you know yes. it's his channel so that's a bit of a logic